to see more. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Superintendent Chalmer. What are you cooking tonight? That smell is driving me crazy. I decided to try out a new recipe for dinner. It's congeo poda day, a rare delicacy. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Can I have a drink while we wait? Of course. Let me get you a glass of wine. You know, Seymour, I've never had congeo poda before. What makes it so special? Well, it's a very delicate dish that requires precise timing and temperature control. And the flavor is unlike anything I've ever tasted. Wow, you really are quite the chef. You know, Seymour, if this meal doesn't turn out well, I might have to send you some Halloween candy to make up for it. I'll hold you to that, Superintendent Chalmers. But I think everything will turn out just fine. Oh. Well, let's dig in then. Please have a seat. Dinner is served. Bummer. I burned the congeo po today again. What's going on here? This is ridiculous. Why do wrong now? It's all my fault, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I should just throw a Halloween party and forget about this burnt congeo pot a day disaster. Yeah, that's what I need right now. A fun distraction from this mess. I've got it. I'll replace those burnt congeo pot a day with some delicious sweet corn. Skinner looks out the window and sees a shop that sells sweet corn. He gets an idea and decides to climb out the window to buy some as a substitute for the burnt congeopody. This reminds me of Halloween candy somehow. He ponders how to prepare this substitute and talks about obtaining the ingredient and climbing back in through the window. In this scene, Skinner successfully replaces the burnt congeopie today with sweet corn and creates a new dish that he is excited about. He decides to make a meal out of it and invites his friends over for dinner. During the dinner, they all praise the unique taste of the sweet corn congeo pie today, and Skinner feels proud of his creation. Hey, Skinner, there's smoke coming from your room. What? Oh, that must be from the experiment I was working on. Then can I take a look? Sure, just be careful. Uh -oh. This is incredible. You've managed to create a self-sustaining ecosystem in a small container. Yes, I've been working on it for months. It's a combination of different types of plants and insects that all work together to create balance system. That's amazing. I never thought something like this was possible. I've always been fascinated by the interconnectedness of nature. It's one of the reasons why I became a scientist. Skinner, this isn't the congeopide I ordered. Uh, yes. This is a special regional dish known as sweet corn. You see, in some dialects, it's called congeopodidae. I don't believe you. That's not what I ordered. I assure you it is. You just haven't had it before. I don't think so. Let me see the menu. Fine, here it is. But I swear, this is what was ordered. Oi, Kitty! He served me something other than what I asked for. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disappoint you. Let me make it right. I suppose that's the best we can do. What the hell is going on here? There's a fire in the kitchen. So, uh, it's just some, you know, ninjas doing their thing. Ninjas? 
in the kitchen. How does that even work? I don't know, ma'am. Man, they must be some special ninjas. Can we just focus on putting out the fire? No, I want to know what the hell is going on here. You're not getting away with this, Skinner. It's hard to believe you can just redirect the conversation whenever you want, Skinner. Well, better safe than sorry, right? I suppose so. But it's frustrating not being able to have a real conversation. I understand, but we have to stick to the rules. I know. It's just difficult sometimes. I can imagine. Well, I guess that's all the time we have for today. Goodbye, Chalmers. Goodbye, Skinner.